Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. Alright, so I've been working on this one for a while. It's taken quite a few different directions, so I thought best like best to sort of update with how we are so far. Okay, so this is uh, this is where we're up to. So we got a 3D printed radio control car. It's powered by a 18 volt cordless drill motor and an 18 volt cordless drill battery. Um, right, so it didn't start like this. This is like the second or the third version. So we'll just get back in time and I'll show you some of the old stuff before we get back. Right, so this is how it started. Actually, no, it's not. This is how it started. So I don't know if you remember this. You probably, some of you might have seen this on another video. So 3D printed mini RC car. This is like 16th the scale, something like that. So I wanted to try and make like a 12th scale one. So yeah, I've just basically <coughs> scaled up all of this and rounded off a few edges, added a few new extra little pieces here and there. So we've got motor mount, we've got differential go, uh, area, same there. Steering pieces and steering servo piece. And yeah, that was okay, that was all going well. So I got to the point of testing that and then I thought I could make it better. So let's move on to the next part. Right, so similar kind of thing. So most things are all in the same place. Um, we've done a little bit of upgrade with certain things. Um, so yeah, again, we've got motor mount, battery, battery area, um, all bearings for the drive shaft. So we've got two bearings here for the main part, and then a bearing here at the end that just goes onto the gear before it turns into the differential at the back. And um, we've got these other two pieces here with more bearings. And yeah, so that's about as far as I got with that one. So. I thought it was okay, like, the building it in two pieces, it's not too bad, like it does sort of hold itself together quite well, you know, a little bracing part in the middle, a few screws, that's all good. Um, so I wanted to go a step further, so I bought a piece of metal, cut it out, and made another one the same. So this is the same kind of thing, um, basically the same shape as the red one, but obviously a lot stronger. So we got the next generation of parts. So this front pit, uh, differential holder, well, I mean, you don't call it holder, but more like a space fit to go. So yeah, you get the main drive shaft that goes along here. And that'll go to here, to the differential, that turns the wheels. Um, we got the Arduino case and steering servo, motor bracket, two rear wheel bearing, the uh, drive shaft mounts, whatever you want to call them. And yeah, that's that. So we got to the point where I was going to um, test this out, but I was quite busy doing other stuff. So if we look at this here, so yeah, that's uh, that's how it was. Like uh, you can see at the beginning, we got the we got the grey part there, obviously the drill, controller, battery. So all of these parts made up this grey one here. So I did do an assembly video for this, but it's kind of pointless now because we've moved on to the next part. Well, we've moved on to the next version. Um, right, so we just skip through some of these. Same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing. Okay, so that was it assembled. So you can see it all sort of goes together. The wheels, there were 3D printed tires, so they would have been quite hard. Um, we do have differentials, so it, it would have been able to handle sort of okay. But again, there's no suspension, <clears throat> and but there's some other reasons why I didn't like it. So we moved on from that one. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, yeah. Just trying out different sorts of drive shafts and stuff. Um, so you can see we've got a 3D printed axle going into a metal uh, CV joint. Um, it's a little bit better picture. Right, so this is it assembled on the metal part. So as you can see, we've got the drill part in there. We've got the IBT2 speed controller, Arduino, steering servo. We've got the diffs. Um, that, that was going quite well. That's about as far as it got. Um, I was having trouble with the, with the electronics with it because I'm powering, powering the motor from an 18 volt battery. Um, I had to split it down to five volts for the servos. And then the servo had to be on a separate thing to the Arduino because it was drawing too much power for the USB thing for the PlayStation controller. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that's as far as that got before it started getting disassembled to this point. 
Uh, let's see what else we got. Right, so this was the first generation of this one. So this is the next, it's the next version of a car, but it was supposed to be an alternate version. As you can see it's got a, instead of a drill, it's got a cordless screwdriver and it's a lot smaller. This is more like 10 scale. So you've got 10 scale wheels, 10 scale suspension, all that kind of stuff. So that's more like this one here. Um, the only differences between that one and this one is that this one's got differentials. Um, it's still got the suspension. It's got slightly different uh, differential holders, obviously, because it needs it for the extra space. And this has got the main, the main drill motor instead of the puny little electric screwdriver motor, which is uh, just here. So you can see it's, it's quite a lot smaller. No, even though that was just a gearbox. Right, so yeah, I was going to, um, well, I, I did test this out. I tested that out and ran it and ran up and, up and down the room. It was okay. Um, as you can see, like without the differentials on here, the steering was really bad. Um, that's why it's got drift wheels on it. But it wasn't fast enough to drift, so it's kind of a waste of time anyway. That's why I've upgraded it with a new motor. So yeah, I tried putting a little brushless motor inside it, um, just to the end of the gearbox. It was a tiny little bit faster, but it wasn't really enough to make it worthwhile. So that's with the diffs. How many photos we got of that? Right, okay, so this is just after installing the main drill motor. So I was trying to work out how much space I needed for the battery, for this motor. Um, had to modify all these brackets to make it fit change the servo, uh, steering servo positions to make so that the battery will actually fit in the, in the space that we've got. Yeah, just working with limited space and time. All right, what's this? Okay, these are really old ones. These are like the original designs. Um, let's see, see if there's anything interesting here. Let's come back to that, 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 that. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. So this is the drill. Um, is a Energizer 18 volt cordless drill. So I presume they're all mostly about the same. So you go, this was the original concept kind of thing for the design for how it was going to look. So when it was all in the grey, you know, they wouldn't have been too far off from that. So yeah, um, right, just going back to the original plan for this. This was only supposed to be a like a three week project to do over Christmas. And well, you can see now. We're at the end of April and the project is still far from done. So I don't know if it's ever going to be done, but hopefully I'll get to a point where I can do something with it. Right, so that's all of this rubbish. Um, I did do a few little videos of doing some assembly. Um, you just do a few little bits of that. Um, so basically what, what happens here, we get the drill out of the box, blah, 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 blah. Take all out of the box. Put it in some bits of plastic, some uh, 3D printed bits. Yeah, so all, all these little video clips, these are all for the old, the old version and um, just all the build up to that really. So I, I documented pretty well up to this point. And then after this, it was just, I don't know, I wasn't planning on doing a video after this point, so. There isn't really a lot of um, a lot of footage from it. Right, so anyway, apart from that now, let's talk to where we are today. Right, so as I said, cordless drill. So we got drive gear here, coming off the motor. So that's supported on this side as well. You can see the little bearing in there. And then we got this um, main drive gear here, which is running on a Six mil, six mil brass hex shaft, and that's connected to the diffs from this gear here, and there, and this gear here. There, so it's, it's, it's pretty tough. The main issue with this at the moment, why I, why I've kind of stopped and haven't done any more, um, the gears seem to have stopped working. I don't know if I've taken something out while I was um, while I was setting up this front belt. I might have taken out a little pin or something. But the high speed works, but we haven't got any low speed, which is a real shame. But anyway, it'll do for now. 
So, right, so we've got the drive. Right, let's just talk a little bit about the steering. So, I don't know if you can see these blue, blue, blue parts in here. So they are Tamiya TTO1, TTO2 uh, drive shafts. So I've got another one over here. So that are these things. That's how they come. They come with the, the wheel mount and the drive shaft on already. So yeah, these are probably the easiest way and it also makes it compatible with all my other RC wheels. Right, so we've got a 3D printed cup in there, which you can't see because the spring's in the way. Right, you can just about see it there. Right, so we've got a 3D printed cup, going onto the 3D printed wheel hub, and then we've got these two arms here, so the top and the bottom arm. So it's taken so long trying to get all this right so it all fits and stuff. It's a real pain. It's still not even finished yet. I mean, it's, it's at a point now where it kind of works, but it's still got a long way to go. Right, so steering, drive shaft, so that's all good. Right, let's go on to the electrics, because that's probably the most exciting part. Right, we've got a typical RC receiver and a Flipsky VESC. So I don't know how much, mo how much power this motor's gonna pull. And to be honest, these wires are a little bit too thin for this kind of stuff, but that'll do for a test. Right, so yeah, we've got the VESC. Um, I'm using this one because it can go all the way up to a three to 13S LiPo. So eight volts to 60 volts. So this 18 volt drill battery is gonna be fine. I do have another DC ESC, but it's not really up for the job, so we'll leave that one for now. <coughs> right, battery connection. So we got this, which is just basically cut off the bottom of the drill. So it's still got the connections. I've hooked up a switch into it, so we can turn it off, turn it on. A bit of safety. All right, so you probably want to see it moving. All right, so one sec, I'll get set up, and we'll put it on the... Um, We'll put on the stand so we can run the wheels. Alright, so we got the RC controller. Um, there, we just need something to stand it on. Uh, we're just going to use these wheels, plonk them underneath it. Like so. And so. Right, so. All stood up. Right, the battery. This is the battery case I made for the other one. It took ages to do it, trying to get the clip in right. But it's nice now. So this is going to be, well actually no, that's not going to not going to be this, it's just going to sit into that little tray on the other side. But because we're just doing this, I'm just going to put it on the, on the desk, it's just going to sit there, sit there flat. Right, so we got power off on here, and a switch, and we got power on on the RC, which you can't see, and there. Okay, and now we're going to plug it in, hopefully it's not going to sound fire, it hasn't done so far, but... <laughs> Right, uh, okay. Power up, powering up. Right, we got power, I think. Okay. Right, it is a little bit scary, but it'll be okay. Right, so you see it's got plenty of juice. The only thing is, the stuff's a little bit wobbly, you know, because it's 3D printed, it's hard to get it accurate. And now, if it is accurate, it's going to wear down pretty fast. Right, so at least you can see it's sort of, it's almost at a point where I can drive it around. It's not quite there yet. But I was hoping to get to that point in the video. Because um, I still haven't got the steering sorted out, I can't really test it out. Like obviously I can just chuck on the floor. Oops, no, no I can't because the battery's not in. Alright, one sec, one sec. Alright, we're good to go. So the battery's in. Alright, this is just for you guys, just so you can see. I don't really want to do this, but... What is a radio control car video when you can't see the car driving? Alright, so we're good. Right, I'm just gonna... Actually, yeah, okay. Right, so the ESC, I need to do some more setting up with that because it's overloading a little bit. Um, 
Originally when I made this, it was really funny. Um, I tested it out and some of the uh, Tested it out and some of the um, gears melted and stuck together. As I don't think that's the case today. I think it's just I need to sort of up the limits a little bit. And then on the VSC software. So you can sort of set like how many amps it's doing, how many, how much power you want it taken out. Uh, limits for how many amps it can take out the battery, all this kind of stuff. So it's got to go through that a bit more really. Um, yeah, it's a... Uh, it is getting there. It's, it's, quite a, it's quite a tricky project. Right, okay, so that's as far as we're going with this today. Um, if you liked it and you want to see more and you want to see when it's done and you want some files for this so you can print your own version or print your own parts for it or if you want to hybrid this up with another radio control car like this old Tamiya TT01 shell uh, chassis, yeah, uh, like and subscribe. And then eventually when, the, when this car's done and the files are up, be able to get them. Right, so just quick before we finish, uh, I've been trying to make a, a rock crawler, 3D printed rock crawler. So this is the Mark 1. As you can see, it's pretty crap. So we were using the, um, what were we using? The electric screwdriver to power this. So it was all right, it was okay. The only problem is, which is an obvious problem, the drive key is so close to the ground, it's got very little ground clearance. It's a shame, but I bought these bigger wheels. These are quite good. I'm doing some stuff with them. Um, I did have another crawler. Which is okay. That was uh, again powered by this, and it was a lot bigger. It was a bit taller. There's all the differentials in there. Yeah, uh, the crawler video. That, well, the crawler project. That's for another video. Um, I'm working on another one, which I'll just give you a quick preview. Ooh, look at that. Right, so we've got 24 volt DC motors going straight directly onto the shaft. So these, these ones are going to be good. Right, so that's it for today's video. Right, if you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you on the next one.